I'm Elisabetta Gaspar and I've been giving tours of Le Corbusier's vacation home for 20 years now. In 2014, the site was renamed Cap Modern. Today I want to share this passion with you and show you why Le Corbusier and his friends love to spend their holidays in Roquebrune. It all began with this beautiful house from 1929 by Eileen Gray and John Badovici. It was an architectural icon of the time. Le Corbusier first came here in 1939. He was a friend of Jean Badovici's. Le Corbusier spent four to six weeks here every year. He lived in Paris and was on the road a lot and very busy. He could unwind here. That was very important so he could recharge his batteries. This small door leads to his hut, Cabanon. He said he'd built a chateau on the Mediterranean as a birthday present for his wife, but in fact it was his little paradise. Here he wanted to try out a minimalist holiday lifestyle for himself. It was pretty innovative for the time. Le Corbusier's hut was a kind of precursor to the holiday apartments we know today on camping vacations, or the tiny little houses we've seen in the USA. The design of these houses is very simple. They're easy to set up and take down again. The room is very small, 3 meters 66 by 3 meters 66 by 2 meters 26. As you can see, it's got everything. A living area with a table and two stools that you can stand on to reach the storage space above the ceiling. Next to me is a wardrobe with drawers, a coat rack and sliding doors. It's pretty short, so it's got lots of space above. The furniture is multifunctional. The bed where Yvonne Le Corbusier's wife slept has large drawers. The only thing she didn't like was that she slept with her head right next to the toilet. Then there's a lower table with a drawer, and Le Corbusier laid two mattresses on the floor to sleep on. The Cabanon's window shutters are designed like accordions. The mirror serves to reflect the light and countryside. And he painted a picture on the wooden panel. He always ate at the restaurant next door. He used this little secret door. Here, there's a safe where Le Corbusier kept his money and his wife's jewellery. Le Corbusier really liked the hospitable atmosphere in the Etoile de Mer restaurant. Photos show him eating with friends on the terrace. You can see he was really friendly with the owner. And eventually, he asked him if he knew someone who'd sell him a piece of ground so he could build a vacation cottage. The owner offered him the lot right next door to his restaurant. In return, he designed a vacation facility for the restaurant owner. 
That's the famous facility right nearby. Right behind me, on the west side of the camping facility, you'll see an explanation of the modular. That's a mathematical formula relating to the measure of man and the golden section. Le Corbusier built apartments and furniture according to the modular principle. And the cabanons is an example of this. Now I'll show you Le Corbusier's studio. There was only a simple board to work on. And the seats were two whiskey crates which he painted himself. The shape of the bones inspired him to paint silhouettes of women, like you see in his post-war period works. Le Corbusier came from Switzerland, but he hated the mountains. He felt happiest by the sea. And here in Roquebrune, he found the little haven of peace he'd always wished for.